Wow, this is crazy. What is this guitar? That is. Welcome. Thank you. Isn't that awesome? Man, this is cool. Paul here at Music Villa. I'm with Corey Congilio, and we are checking out today. So this is, this is uh, how do I explain this one? So HD28, obviously, looks like an HD28, but this is one of our Music Villa customs, okay? So what we do is, uh, it's a little bit of a thinner top, rows it back and sides. It's really everything an HD28 is. It's forward shifted, it's golden era bracing, the tuning keys are a little different. Um, so, in, in we've, had, we've been doing this guitar for years, but this one, the main thing that's different about this one, it's a short scale. Wow, so, okay. Yeah, so it, it is, I think, the only Martin Dreadnought short scale. Maybe ever? Who knows? They, they made them a long time ago. Oh, really? They never really, okay. they never really stuck with it, but I love them. I mean, it's just a nice, it's, you know, I mean, how does it feel to well, you? Well, that's why I like, I, I've noticed I really liked it early on because um, just as I was warming up here a little bit, trying it, the strings definitely felt like it was a looser right. looser vibe, but it, I could feel the thickness of them. It wasn't like a lighter string, if yeah. you will. And I'm a, I'm a shorter scale player that kind of gravitate yeah. towards that. Yep. Um, but it's cool. It's it's a really different animal. It is cool. Because it's yeah, how it does that. Yeah. You get Martin Big, Dreadnought, and Martin Sound. Exactly. A little bit easier. like a recording. It's like you're sitting behind it. Yeah. it sounds wonderful. Really, really That's cool great. guitar. So, you know, this a lot of times, it, this came about really, you know, people would call me and they go, they, they go, I'm just retiring or it's like, um, you know, I, I played in college and now I'm retiring and I want a Martin. I want a Dreadnought, you know, but they're kind of hard to play. That's, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, you know, not that they're hard to play in general, but as for someone who's just getting started again, sure, as an adult, it's it, it can be you know you you would normally want maybe a smaller guitar, shorter scale length, but that's where this kind of came about, and I think it's a, I don't know, it's just a great guitar. It's, yeah, you're you're right. I mean, make no mistake, like you know, we don't have to get macho about it and say yeah. that they're hard because like I go back and forth between electric and acoustic so much from smaller body guitars, lower tension strings, shorter scales, and when I jump on. A dreadnought, it's like okay, this is this is a big Harley now. Yeah. This this yep. isn't some motorbike, you know. Yep. This is something. And when the cool, but the cool thing is, is that it's got power for days. You can still lay into it. Yeah. And the guitar just keeps giving it to you all the time. Yep. That's that's the beauty of a Martin dreadnought, particularly it in is. my opinion, is that you can't play it hard enough. Yep. It'll always give it to you. Exactly, nothing yeah. like it. Uh, Thank you. Let's uh, we'll continue on. We'll get to the end of this video and yeah, uh, take us out a little right. something. Paul here at Music Villa, Corey Congilio with Martin Guitars. Thank you for watching.